So here's Salad Bowl Banjo, number three from Deep Creek Strings. Very similar to Salad Bowl Banjo, number two. However, this banjo has frets. It's a fully fretted instrument. Uh, that's the way the, uh, this banjo was commissioned, so that's the way the uh, future owner of this banjo wanted it. He wanted a, a uh, fretted instrument. A hand turned bowl from a local hand turner, Ron Thompson. He did a great job. It's a beautiful bowl. I actually documented the whole process of creating this uh, banjo on my webpage. So you can see the, uh, all the pictures and a few videos and explanation of the making of this banjo there. Um, kind of an odyssey. The first bowl cracked and it took me forever to get a second bowl and get a second bowl that worked. And um, also, I had buzzing in the strings that I could not take care of, so I uh, couldn't seem to diagnose, and then I did finally get it, so it's, it's a great banjo now. It just seemed to take me forever to, to uh, get it to be great. Um, so, we got a Bloodwood tailpiece, Bloodwood bridge to match the Bloodwood fingerboard. Funky peghead there um, with rosewood. Ebony fiddle pegs, cherry for the neck, carving in there that I've done in the past, similar to one I've done in the past, and a fifth string is ebony fiddle peg, friction peg, scooped, nice for claw hammer, this is a calf skin tacked on, really good and tight, and turned out again to be a pretty good banjo. So it's Salabo Banjo number three from Deep Creek Strings.